Struggling with blood sugar levels, ready to shed those extra pounds effortlessly? Look no further. Sugar Defender, the number one rated blood sugar formula, is here to transform your health and help you achieve your wellness goals. Click the link in the video description to get started with Sugar Defender today. A New Jersey businessman took his star turn on the witness stand on Friday in the bribery case against U.S. Senator Bob Menendez, telling a jury he believed he had a $200,000 to $250,000 deal in 2018 for the Democrat to pressure the state attorney general's office to stop investigating his friends and family. Jose Uribe testified in Manhattan Federal Court in the afternoon, providing key testimony against Menendez and two other businessmen charged in a conspiracy along with Menendez's wife. Next week, Menendez's lawyers will get to cross-examine the naturalized U.S. citizen. Next week we get the truth, Menendez said just before stepping into a car that carried him away from Manhattan Federal Court, where he has been on trial for the last month. Uribe, 57, who pleaded guilty to charges in a March cooperation deal, was the star witness for the government in its bid to win a conviction against the senator, who once held the powerful post as chair of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. He was forced out of the position after he was criminally charged last fall. Menendez, 70, has pleaded not guilty to charges that he accepted gold bars, cash and a luxury car in return for doing favors for the businessmen. Two businessmen and Menendez's wife, Nadine Menendez, also have pleaded not guilty. Nadine Menendez's trial has been postponed until at least July after she was diagnosed with breast cancer. Uribe testified that he was close friends with Weil Hanna, who was on trial with Menendez, when Hanna told him in early 2018 that New Jersey state criminal investigations swirling around the trucking business of a friend of his and his own insurance business could be largely put to rest if he was willing to spend $200,000 to $250,000. Uribe said Hanna told him that he would go to Nadine Arslanian, her name before she married the senator, who had begun dating Menendez that year and then Nadine would go to Senator Menendez, although Uribe did not testify about how the couple could resolve multiple investigations. Uribe said he held a July 13, 2018 political fundraiser for Menendez, which the senator attended, raising $50,000. He said he attended an after-party with Menendez and Arslanian that included cocktails, along with some laughs, some jokes, and some dancing, but there was no mention of the work he expected Menendez to do on his behalf. It was a crowded and loud place, Uribe said. He said his confidence that the deal was working faded in the fall when an investigator from the attorney general's office asked to interview his employee. I was not happy, he said. Assistant U.S. Attorney Lara Pomerantz showed jurors a series of text messages between Uribe and Hannah in which Uribe pressed his friend to get the senator to stop the criminal probes. Please be sure that your friend knows about this, Uribe wrote to Hannah in one text. Pomerantz asked whom he was referring to as your friend. Senator Menendez, Uribe responded. Hannah, according to the texts, responded, I will. Hannah arranged for Uribe to have dinner with Menendez and Arslanian at a restaurant in October 2018, but Uribe testified there was no mention of the deal. Nothing was discussed there of value I will say, Uribe testified. It was a pointless meeting. Uribe said he began communicating directly with Nadine Arslanian in March 2019 and promised that he would buy her a car if she delivered on the deal to get the senator to shut down New Jersey criminal probes. She agreed to the terms, he said. When the prosecutor asked Uribe what he understood the terms of the deal to mean, he said he understood that Nadine Arslanian would contact Menendez and get him to use his influence and power to do anything possible to stop and kill the investigations. On Thursday, former New Jersey Attorney General Gerber Gruel testified that Menendez in an early 2019 telephone call and in a September 2019 office meeting tried to talk to him about a criminal probe. Gruel said he followed his policy and refused to do so, telling Menendez to contact defense lawyers so they could reach out to trial-level prosecutors or the judge. Uribe, of Clifton, New Jersey pleaded guilty in March, saying during his plea that he gave Nadine Menendez a Mercedes-Benz in return for her husband using his power and influence as a United States senator to get a favorable outcome and to stop all investigations related to one of my associates. Yuri.